What's up, YouTube? This is Rafa Trey coming guys today, man. I hope you guys have a nice day or you guys are enjoying the day. I mean, we have a crazy close on Friday, man. I'm going to go over really quick with that because I want to update you guys on what is going on with the market. Overall, everything is bleeding, but especially what we usually try every single day, and especially Tesla because Tesla is absolutely being on a downhill, right? It's pretty much dropping like a rock. And it's not just the market. It's really, like I said, uh, if you have to be on top of the company, right? If you're trading something, you can understand why is the stock going down. And really, Tesla is not only going down because of the price action, it's because also if you look at the competition, that is a lot, right? That is now a lot of competition from Tesla. You know, EVs are going ev everywhere. Every single company is, you know, developing EVs, right? They are delivering price cuts, you know, on Tesla cars. So it's just... It ain't, ain't going good for Tesla. So I believe, you know, the floor, it hasn't, you know, Tesla hasn't found a floor yet. Uh, The close from Friday is not good, right? Market hasn't been, pretty much market hasn't been, you know, ready for almost two weeks already, right? Now, it, it is, the it, there is due a chance that we can, you know, we can bounce because we are approaching to the 200 level, right? So, you know, seek a like a level. So it is a chance, you know, there is really a chance that we can have a bounce, you know, we can have a, a, a recovery rally because, it's just the RSI area is getting super oversold. And technically, you know, we probably is most likely we're going to have a bounce at some point, right? Which is normal. But, you know, if you guys are going to try to play that, you guys definitely need to uh, keep an eye on the levels, right? But also, you know, this week is going to be very important because we do have certain, you know, good companies that are reporting. And especially you guys probably like NVIDIA and NVIDIA reported last time. It went crazy, went over almost a hundred dollars on earnings, you know, because there was a... The uh, you know the AI hype, right? They do report this week as well, and there are other companies that I like. You know that we have on Monday we have Zoom after close. You know that's a pretty interesting one. We do have Macy's on Tuesday. Uh, you know pre market. You know that is Dicks. Uh, what else we like? What else we like? We have Peloton on Wednesday morning. Uh, we have Colts. We spend Wednesday. I'm sorry, and uh, Nvidia is gonna be reporting on Wednesday after close. So that's gonna be the more the most important one. I haven't received my calendar yet, but I will probably, I, I was, you know, just keep an eye on tomorrow's video on the weekly watch list. I'm going to go over about the economic events as well. But, uh, you know, what else we have? We have in terms of we have Affirm, which is very interesting, you know, company as well. It was on some point on the, you know, the trail on the, on like years ago, Affirm was considered a meme stock because it was absolutely going crazy. You wouldn't believe Affirm at some point, you know, the price that it was. Uh, I believe, let me pull it up. But a firm was absolutely crazy years ago. You know, when COVID, even before COVID, you know, IPO like almost like ninety three dollars went to one point one seventy six, and then it crashed back down. So anything is possible in this market. But again, this price action is getting crazy. So let me really quick go over with spy. Yesterday price action, it was small, like smallly, you know, trending up. It was not, it was not a, you know, a, um, pretty much like a straight up. It was definitely very choppy. You know, you when you are trying to trade this like this, either you would understand that the moves are very short and you have to be scalping pretty much. You know, getting in, getting out really quick between you know couple minutes because that's how it is. If you overstay on this place, your contracts, your premiums are gonna burn. Right. And also, again, you're not going to be profiting as you want. You know, the risk reward on this type of trades, on this type of days are just very, very, very low. So you have to understand that. Right. Let me tell you guys, every single trade that you take, you need to assess, your, you know, your risk reward, your RR ratio. Because if you're risking too much for what you're going to make, then that's a bad trade. You don't want to do that. You know, you're not, that's, you're not going to be profitable that way at some point, you know, in your career. You always need to assess that on the market. Right. So pretty much, you know, we have that. Drop down on pre market that was like 443s, pretty much bounced from 443s and start crawling back his way up. That was 4437, which was you know pretty pretty quite interesting. The last minute, the last couple of minutes, you know, spy pump pretty much the market pump, you know, kind of like the market trying not to close to low. And like I said, you know, trying to market makers trying to push this and you know, give it some uh, you know, some kind of like a breath of the there might be, there might be some hope. But overall, again, SPY close at 436.16, which is basically above the 435.73 support, right? But again, don't don't get tricked because, again, this is uh, 
we are still in a downtrend. You know, you zoom out. I'll tell you guys, if you're in doubt, you got to zoom out, right? So definitely, if you zoom out, every single frame is looking bearish. One hour, four hours, you know, daily, right? The daily are really close. You have, you already, the moment I'll tell you about confirmations, you are already, you guys are already having a daily candle close below the 60 minute, which is not good, right? So this tells me that we're probably going to make our way slowly, right? Or shortly, but probably towards the next report, which is going to be 428.82, right? Now, it's not going to go straight down. I mean, it can happen, but, you know, we have to assess every day how the production goes, right? But that's the chance. And overall, if the market doesn't change the direction, if the market still continues to lead, you know, for because there is no anything, there is no other catalyst that move up, the 200 EMA is a 418.34, and that it is a price target that could be achieved even in a month, maybe in a couple months. If again, it's gonna de- it's all gonna depend on how the market decides to perform next week as well, right? But so far, things are not looking pretty. So you know, just keep an eye on. Now, the RSI as well, you know, it's at thirty five on the daily. You know, the four hours at thirty five as well. So you can notice how the RSI is being very oversold this couple of days, but it's hanging around this. It's gonna hang around this thirty. Now that doesn't mean that it can keep going lower. It does. It definitely can. You know, I've seen RSI a nine, a 10, a 12, right? It does very likely to happen. But it's just like a second, you know, if you, if you base your trades on the RSI, you need to understand that it's just to make it more attractive for buyers to buy it, you know, this low because again, it becomes oversold. So people are trying to buy the fear, right? Which is usually what, uh you know, long-term investors look, right? Which is that, you know, they say, you know, when there is fear, that's when you got to buy, right? Not when, when there is greed, you don't want to buy when this really because you're pretty much buying the pig, right? So all everybody, like all these people that you know that was trying to buy this, this stocks when when the market sentiment was greed and extreme greed, well, then now you understand why you always have to look look these things because you're pre- people buying the pig. They they just thought that the market was gonna continue going up and up and up, and now there you go. You know, they bought the pig and now they're stuck or they lose your money. So, like I said, that's pretty much what I'm looking for to spy. Really, that little bounce. And we can see the four hour MACD wants to curl up a little bit, you know, wants to show some uh, strength, you know, on, on the buyer side. But I'm not convinced, you know, definitely not convinced. You know, I don't have any signs of really like a clear reversal, maybe a little pop, which is what we have. But also, if you look out, if you zoom out a little bit, this easily is looking like a bird fly, right? It's easily big. So, in Monday, doesn't break down, right? Uh, We might consolidate on this next level. So something to keep an eye on it. Again, for me, honestly, at this point, right, in this current price action, I will definitely need to see the break of our resistance. This 444.91. No, I'm sorry. 439.42, because it does a close resistance to have some momentum to the upside, right? To possibly maybe retest 443.44 uh, the 200 EMA. If we don't have that, again, like I said before, you don't want to go long on this market. You cannot. You do that. I'm telling you, you're just giving away your money. And I'm not, I'm, repeating myself because I want you to understand and the only way for me and I believe the only way to help you guys is repeating the, repeating you guys the same thing over and over and over right it's like when you teach uh you know anything in life you know when you go to school people need to you know teach or repeat stuff to kids so they understand so it's similar you know catching in there I'm, uh, I'm trying to help you guys and really you don't want to go against the track if you're doing you if you're trying to play calls to the balances that's fine but you have to understand that there's going to be very short and as long as we don't have confirmation on the bigger trend lines, the market will continue to go down, right? So keep that in mind. Now the 443 is become a little floor as you could like a level right there because we bounced from there. So keep an eye on that on Monday. If we break 443, we will make lower. We will make our way towards support, which is a 428, right? Now Tesla, what I was, what I was talking about, this, it is a falling knife, right? Now it is become a falling knife. Now, why am I saying this? Because number one, same thing with SPY, they close now with a kind of close below the 200 EMA, right? That was a completely nice confirmation right there. The buyer, the selling pressure is absolutely nuts. It's, it's just insanely high. The RSI is at 27. That is just, it doesn't look like it wants to turn down. Like, I'm sorry, it wants to turn up, right? It did, they had a little bounce, right? We did show some uh, buying pressure uh, the last minute yesterday, which is okay. Like I said, bounces are going to happen. If you're going to play this, if you're seeing this, and you could have played the bounce, right? But still, 
there are a few things that I won't tell you, and this is because this is not only about the market, you know, the market conditions, but also what you know the news on 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 Tesla are, right? So there is you can see here, see they uh they they get more China price cuts because there are more companies like Fisker, you know, I believe that X Pain, there are all these companies out there that they are just being more in competition on Tesla and and that's that's normal you know if you when when tesla came out when it was an ev it was a pioneer you know of of uh, of you know evs and that's why you know it just it just boom right but you know the mar- how the market works you know you bring something new to the market then everybody wants to do the same thing and that's what pretty much is doing the same thing right these companies are developing evs and the you know the, the competition is even though tesla is a better car at some points certain things you know they're just doing it similar and then with a cheaper price people especially in this economy right uh they're just rather go for the cheaper you know cheaper option therefore you know they lose tesla's money and of course like i said price you know the market conditions is not helping so there you go this is the result of that all of those things can you know combine now again when there is a strong drops like especially like tesla you know has been having there is stuff like we call you know dead count bounces and i did mention i did mention this before you know a while ago that's when you know there's extreme drop and then you know the market tends to the stock or you know tends to bounce but then clear then later later on it just tends to drop full you know fall lower now that's the chance then it is it like say it just goes combined as far as you know the bounce but i would i wouldn't rule anything yet like i said for me i just want to see clear breakouts i don't i'm not just guessing i don't guess i do my best to pick the best trace you know just based on confirmations and levels so for me, honestly, for me to really believe that Tesla wants to have that, you know, a little pop or, you know, it, it is ready to uh, to market like a market recovery or a stock recovery, I definitely need to see a clear breakout. And in this case, what I'm going to be watching for Monday is going to be this 222.51 persistence break, which is also pretty much closely aligning to the, to the, to the 60 EMA, 223.08. If we don't break that, again, the same concept that as before, every pop, you got to be careful. If you're playing that, get out really quick, you know, take profit, don't get greedy, don't go long, because it's very likely you can reject and come back down. Now, we are at 218. So like I said before, the $200 level is a strong cycle like a level. And we get close to that. I I believe, I both, most likely believe that we're going to have a bounce, probably a strong bounce. So keep an eye on that, right? Uh, so far, nothing has changed. Actually, look, it's look things are looking worse, but we'll see how Tesla performs next week, right? I mean, remember Tesla's being at one fifty two at some point in time. It does mean it could go to that level, at some point too, if things doesn't you know turn around, right? Now, bio, you know, this is our main string that we're talking about. This, you know, how a lot of people are asking me about is this is you, you got. I guess you guys need to have some patience with swing trades. Swing trades are good to accumulate, you know, buy the levels, follow your plan, and that's it. You know, you shouldn't be worrying a lot of it unless, you know, there are, you know, critical levels break, you know, stuff like that. Remember, this is, it, you got to take, understand what's happening on the market. The market is red, most of the stocks are red. Simple as that. It's not just because, the, you know, it's not reporting, it's not uh, be performing good. No, it's the market is performing bad. So, like I said before, you know, I'm, I'm gonna put this an example. You know, ADTX. This was another uh, stock that they did a reverse split, and then they had a nice pop yesterday, which we did scalp with the Alpha Community, and then we, you know, we bank with them, right? We had a nice pop, and then you know they just performed reverse split. Now, Bio, for example, when they performed a reverse split, I believe that was on the 26, right? Which is then they did drop to the six dollar, and they popped to like nine dollars, right? And since then. It was just dropping towards support. Why? Because the market was, you know, dropping down. So this is the perfect time that you want to buy, you want to accumulate, right? You want to do that. Because now I wouldn't worry, like I said, people, I don't wouldn't worry if if we don't even go below four dollars, I'm not even worried. You know, I'm gonna be eating those dips, right? It's just not a problem for me. And what also I'm looking is because people is also buying this. You know, it's not just because I am saying so. You can clearly see the inflow and the outflow. It is it is more, it is huge, it is pretty much almost double inflow on the stock because there is a lot of, you know, money flowing this thing. You know, the outflow is it's there, but it's pretty much half, you know, from the inflow. So that tells me, again, that things are getting interesting here. The short interest is very low as well, right? Because, again, shorts are realizing that they can get 
screw right now if they're trying to you know short this stock which is, i remember it bid you know had nice uh, earnings they just got a catalyst they just got a reverse split which is a, it's a hot theme so they don't want to get burned you know shorts they already made that money right at some you know way before now they, they just you know pretty much closing that position that's this is why you see the short that is very low because it's ready to pop and i believe you know with this flow which is they have a one million flow this thing can go crazy. And like I said, for me, my conservative target is between seven and dollar. And I will I could be happy with that. But if we see some volume coming in, this thing, this thing can go go crazy, like to $13, right? $14. I've seen it happen in one day go to 100 percent That that's just very likely. Could, could even go to $20, right? We don't know. But we are gonna be updating this. We're gonna keep a track of this. But again, this is my plan. I told I laid out my plan before. I will follow my plan. I don't just Say something and then I do something else. If I don't, I'm gonna be out in dips. And as long as this doesn't go below four dollars, I will remain on the trade. And of course, I'm gonna be reassessing. If for any instance we do go below four dollars, I will definitely reassess the trade and I will let you guys know what I'm what I'm thinking, right? But that is nothing to worry for now. So follow the plan. All right, guys. So in there, like I said, I have other stocks that I've been watching, but again, the market is not helping. I don't like to just put more ideas there if you know if not. It's not the market is not performing in the best way, and then you know I know that we probably in those stocks we might not make you know good money. I don't want to, I that's why I don't share those stocks because our person is looking at it, but I'm doing my best to you know you know share the wealth, right? So I want you guys to make money as well, right? Not not just not about me, it's not about me because I don't I don't really focus on money anymore. You know I'm just doing here doing my best. I believe my mission is helping you guys, and that's what I'm doing, right? So again. I will keep an eye guys today. I'm gonna keep uh, doing some DD and then see what else we have for tomorrow. Uh, watch list. So keep an eye on it. Don't forget to like, like, and subscribe to the channel, guys. We got more to talk tomorrow. So keep an eye on it on the video tomorrow. And I wanna, I'm gonna probably gonna drop an update on what's going on in the Alpha community too. So don't forget to like and subscribe to the channels, guys, and check the link in the description. If you wanna sign up to Alpha community, that's where I have my trace 24 seven on my guidance and other stuff going on there. So be ready. Have a nice night. From today guys enjoy your weekend enjoy your family because remember trading is not everything we have to enjoy our lives because it's very short right nothing is granted so go out there and then do your best to your kids to your family and let's come back up stronger for next uh next monday i right, guess so take care i'll see you guys tomorrow bye guys What's up, guys? This is Wild for Trading coming at you guys today. If you guys want to start making some money and achieving those goals that you're not afraid of, you guys are looking for, then you need to start investing in yourself. You need to start investing in knowledge. All right, so join me to the Alpha community. I'll be there with you guys, guiding yourself to the market. And I hope to see you guys tomorrow on the market because I'm going to get you guys get some money. All right, so see you guys.